हेलो गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स वी आर स्टडिंग हियर द मॉर्फोलॉजी ऑफ द फ्लावरिंग प्लांट इन द बिफोर पीरियड्स वी हैव कंप्लीटेड द रूट सिस्टम एंड द मॉडिफिकेशंस ऑफ द रूट देयर वी हैव स्टडीड टैप रूट सिस्टम एंड एडवेंटेशियस रूट सिस्टम एंड ऑल्सो वी हैव स्टडीड सम स्पेशल मॉडिफिकेशंस मेड बाय द प्लांट फॉर स्पेशल फंक्शन का विशिष्ट कार्या के लिए रूटन मॉडिफिकेशन अपन पाले तैमे अपन टैपरूट सिस्टीम चमे कोनिकल रूट फ्यूजीफॉर्म रूट नैफीफॉर्म रूट अशा प्रकार के रूट्स तैमे पाले आज आप स्टेम याड़ा पार्ट की महति बी है वी नो दैट देर आर टू सीस्टम्स इन द प्लांट वन इज अंडरग्राउंड दैट इज द रूट सिस्टीम एंड अनादर इज अबव द सॉइल दैट इज कॉल्ड एज द शूट सिस्टीम सो शूट सिस्टीम इज डेवलप्ड फ्रॉम द प्ल्यूम्यूल ऑफ द सीड प्ल्यूम्यूल अपन एखाद जर शेंगदाना कि एखाद बी फोड़ तो ते अपने दोन भाग मिलता ये अंदाजे व्ही आकारा जो पार्ट है त्या एकाच नाव है रेडिकल आ दूसरा प्ल्यूम्यूल देर आर टू नेम्स वन इज रेडिकल अनादर इज द प्ल्यूम्यूल रेडिकल प्रोड्यूस द रूट सिस्टीम रेडिकल पास रूट सिस्टीम मिलते फेवरेबल कंडीशन मधे रेडिकल डेवलप्स एंड देन द प्ल्यूम्यूल अनादर पार्ट विच इज डेवलप्ड विच produces the shoot system the system present above the soil matiche var asnara ha bhag ahe it is the aerial part called as the shoot system that is the aerial part it is called as the shoot system now see here what you will get here in the figure we will get here a stem stem having small leaves branches nodes internodes axillary buds and terminal buds we can study all these parts one by one the figure shows at uppermost side terminal bud is present terminal shevartya tokala last tokala terminal bud then from the leaves another type of buds they are produced they are called as axillary bud which are produced from the axis of the leaf they are called as axillary bud stem has nodes and internodes tela kande ani tipre ahet nodes and internodes they are present on the stem there are leaves also present what are the leaves the leaves are thin green flat expanded part which are useful in photosynthesis so these are the leaves are present the base of leaf is petiole pana cha dethala petiole asa manta and the leaves they are produced from the nodal region node region now the other dissimilar structures or parts like leaf buds branches flowers fruits they are produced on the stem dissimilar organs are produced from the stem at the beginning shuruvati cha kalamade stem is green and then it is in different color and shape also and here the main function of the stem is also the वॉटर एंड मिनरल कंडक्शन जमिनी मधुन घी वर के भागाम पठवने आनान जे अन्न तैयार के लिए तोड़ा सर्व भागांपर्यंत पोचवण ये स्टेमच महत्वाच कार्य है फर्स्ट वर्क फंक्शन इज टू प्रोड्यूस द डिसिमिलर ऑर्गन्स टू एक्सपोज ऑल दीज ऑर्गन इन सच अ पोजिशन दैट दे गेट द प्रॉपर लाइट 
that the flowers they are placed that the proper pollination may take place and all functions वेगवेगळे ऑर्गन हे अशा पद्धतीने ठेवणे किंवा त्या ठिकाणी सिच्युएट केलेले असतात की त्यांचा उपयोग त्या ठिकाणी त्या झाडाच्या जीवनासाठी होतो नाव सी यर वी आर गेटिंग हिअर द स्टेम इट हॅविंग ब्रांचेस ॲट द साईड इट हॅविंग नोड्स अँड इंटर नोड्स फ्रॉम द नोड्स ग्रीन लिव्ज आर प्रोड्यूस्ड हिरवे पानं किंवा कोण्याही रंगाचे लाल पण कधी कधी पानं असू शकतात पिवळसर पण ते कधी होतात कमतरतेमुळं किंवा बाकीच्या कार्यामुळं आणि या ठिकाणी आपल्याला पानाचा देठ त्याला पिटिओल असं म्हणतो या झाडामध्ये नोड्स आणि इंटरनोड असतात वरच्या बाजूला सापडणारं बड त्याला टर्मिनल बड असं म्हणतात खालच्या साईडला असणारं ते एक्झिलरी बड आहे अँड द फंक्शन्स आर the dissimilar organs are produced like the leaf then birds then branches flower fruits they are produced at the beginning these are the stem is green in nature and also able to photosynthesize and another function is that is the absorption of absorption or translocation ek ek kadun dusri kade pathavna water and minerals as well as the translocation of food also which is produced from the green leaves towards the different parts of the body but here also we'll get different types of underground modification we know that stem is present above the soil but sometimes there are special types of modification made for the different function when stem is not well developed or it is present below the soil it is called as the underground stem zamini cha madhe vadnari stem underground stem here are certain examples one is rhizome r h i z o m e rhizome we have to study the different uh, underground modification one is the rhizome there are certain examples they are ginger Zinzibar officinalis ginger Zinzibar officinalis is the name and here we will find that the turmeric curcuma domestica the names are curcuma domestica haldi apan mantu haldi che pan anek prakan ran halad aple ekarchi sapadnari halad kachora there are different uh, varieties and name of this haldi uh, so here the rhizome is one example that is the ginger adrak jala apan mantu ya adrak cha madhe aplyala he underground part milto halad aso adrak aso similar type ahe ya madhe aplyala stem it grows horizontally in all direction we will get here on the stem the nodes and internodes tyacha madhe kande ani tipre ahe here from the nodal region small leaf like leaf like structures are produced called as the scale leaf see here nodes are present inter nodes are present so they are present on the stem it is branch structure at the lower side adventitious or fibrous root system is found khalcha bajula aplyala fibrous root system milte tyacha madhe nodes ani inter nodes aplyala milta at the upper side terminal buds are also produced they are useful for perination and vegetative propagation aplyala jhadacha part vaprun navin jhad tayar ya jhadamade jhalela pahayla milta so here the scale leaves are present new buds are present nodes and internodes kande ani tipre ya thikani ahe the adventitious roots are produced at the lower side for absorption of water and minerals and to fix the plant so this is the underground modification of uh, stem whenever the stem is weak and present below the soil it is called as the underground stem and it having the nodes and inter nodes leaf like structures pana sarke bhag node pasun taiyar hotat tyala apan scale leaf asa mantu roots they are produced from the nodes at the lower side these are adventitious root they are also called as the fibrous root and we will find that here 
birds are useful for the pollination as well as to produce the new plant so in today's period we had completed the structure of stem how stem is stem is the aerial part it having the nodes and internodes it is green in color at the beginning and becomes brownish or in different color or another color after maturity now here the stem has dissimilar organs they are produced on the nodes these are leaves flower branches buds fruits etc leaves are green in color generally they are green in color or they may be in the different color useful in the photosynthesis process now the birds axillary bird terminal birds they are produced and they are useful for the different types of function in plant now the young stem is green and we will find that stem is useful to produce the dissimilar organ as well as to uh, absorption of water and minerals and conduction instead of absorption we can say conduction of water and minerals and conduction of food also this is one type of modification that is underground modification when the stem is weak it is present below the soil called as the underground stem example is rhizome here are certain examples that is the ginger its botanical name adrak zanzibar officinalis is the name then the turmeric that is curcuma domestica this is the name of the haldi and here the scale leaves are also produced from the nodes sometimes obliquely situated obliquely situated uh, rhizomes are also present they are in kamal that is nilombo uh, nucifera that is the nilombo that is lotus and teris in the fern pan fern aplyala mahite shobhivant jhadancha madhe eta that is nephrolapis exaltata is its botanical name aplyala e sarva plants nantar practical cha madhe bagaycha ahet you can write the notes and study thank you